this class you work out two problems in per unit representation problem number 1 for the system shown in figure draw the reactance diagram that's the question the system consists of six components one is generator rating is 100 mea 20 kv 10 percentage reactance second is transformer rating is 80 mea 20 kv bar 200 kv percentage reactance is 16 third is transmission line the reactance is j120 ohms fourth is transformer rating is 80 mea 200 kv bar 20 kv percentage reactance is 18 Fifth is a generator. Rating is 90 MbA, 18 kV, percentage reactance 9. And sixth is the load, 50 megawatts. First step, we have to choose base kV and base MbA. I choose base kV is equal to 20, base MbA is equal to 100. the high voltage kv base is equal to low voltage kv base into ht by lt 200 by 20 therefore high voltage kv base is equal to 200 kv this is 200 kv this side is 20 kv this side is 20 kv i marked in blue color given values are in red color chosen value is in green color first i find the per unit reactance of the generator the given reactance value is 0.1 into vb1 by vb2 the whole square into sb2 by sb1 20 by 20 the whole square into 100 by 100 that is equal to j.1 second is a transformer given reactance is 0.16 into 20 by 20 the whole square into 100 by 100 by 80 that is equal to j.2 third is a transmission line here base kv is 200 actual value is 120 120 into base mba by kvb square to 120 into 100 by 200 square that is equal to j.3 fourth is the transformer This is a high voltage say 200 kV. Given reactance is 0.18 into 200 by 200 into 100 by 80. That is equal to J.225. Fifth is a generator. Given reactance is 0.9 into 18 by 20. The whole square into 100 by 90. That is equal to J.81. the next i have to find the per unit resistance power p is equal to v into i p is equal to v into v by z i is equal to v by z i can write p is equal to v square by z therefore z is equal to v square by p here the given is 50 megawatts therefore actual resistance is equal to line to line voltage the whole square divided by p That is equal to 200 square by 50. That is equal to 800. This is the actual resistance value. Now I have to calculate the base resistance value. That is KVB square by SB. 200 square divided by 100. That is equal to 400. I know the actual. I know the base. I can easily find the per unit resistance. Actual by base. 800 by 400. That is equal to 2. This is the reactance diagram. One is generator point one. The second is transformer J point two. The third is transmission line. That is J point three. Fourth is transformer J point two two five. Fifth is a generator J point eight one. Sixth is the resistor. This is two. All are in per unit values. 
problem number 2 for the system shown in figure draw the reactance diagram choose base kv is equal to 20 base mva is equal to 100 this is the problem the system consists of six components number 1 generator rating is 40 mva 25 kv 0.2 per unit reactance second is a transformer 33 kV bar 220 kV rating is 40 MeA 0.15 per unit reactance. Third is a transmission line. Its actual impedance is J 50 ohms. Fourth is a transformer 220 kV bar 11 kV rating is 30 MeA 0.15 per unit. Fifth is a motor rating is 50 MeA. 11 kV 0.3 per unit reactance. 6 is the resistive load 50 megawatts. So the given value base kV MBA value is in green color. Given values are in red color. Chosen new base kV value in blue color. Step 1. We have to find the per unit reactance of the generator. Per unit reactance of the generator is equal to actual reactants 0.2 into Vb1 by Vb2 25 by 20 square into Sp2 by Sp1 100 by 40 that is equal to J.78. Second, transformer. Given value is 0.15 into 33 by 20 the whole square into Sb2 100 by 40 that is equal to J1.02. Transformer secondary side, we have to find a high voltage KV base. The primary is 33, secondary is 220, given base is 20. Therefore, we have to find high voltage KV base. High voltage KV base is equal to low voltage KV base. Low voltage KV base is 20. HT by LT. 20 into 220 by 33. That is equal to 133.33 KV. The third is a transmission line. Actual impedance is 50 into SB that is 100 divided by KVB square. 133.33 square that is equal to J.28. Fourth is a transformer. Given value is 0.15 into VB1 by VB2. 220 by 133.33 the whole square into SB2, 100 divided by 30. That is equal to J, 1.36. Again, we have to find the low voltage KV base. Low voltage KV base is equal to high voltage KV base, 133.33 into ALT by HT, 11 by 220. That is equal to 6.67 KV. Fifth is a motor. Given value is 0.3 into 11 by 6.67 the whole square into 100 divided by 50. That is equal to J 1.63. Here resistive load 50 megawatts. Actual resistance. Actual resistance is, is equal to 11 square. This is this bus bar here is 11 kV. 11 square by 50. That is equal to 2.42. That is the actual resistance. Next is base resistance. Here base KV is 6.67. 6.67 square divided by SB. SB is 100. That is equal to 0.44. Per unit impedance, per unit resistance is equal to actual by base. 2.42 divided by 0.44. That is equal to 5.5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 over. Just I draw a reactance diagram. So this is generator J.78. This is transformer. J 1.02. This is transmission line. J 0.28. This is this transformer. J 1.36. This is J 1.63. Motor. This is resistor 5.5. All are in per units. With this, I conclude my lecture. Thanks for listening.